Hello, everybody. How's everybody doing today? I hope everybody is doing well. Um, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, appreciate you being here. I'm gonna do the typical YouTube shill, even though I hate the shit. Um, so hit the like button, subscribe if you're not subscribed. I like to keep my stuff short, so there you go. Uh, okay, so I've been working on a comparison project from the old rendering of Mary's Diamonds 02 from uh, prior 2023. Now, for those of it that may not know, at the beginning, or at the end of 2022, Mary's Diamonds was acquired by uh, Bella Dane Nicole, and since then they've changed a lot of things, they've changed suppliers, they've gotten renderings redone, they've re-signed artists. I don't even know if this picture will be included in their new lineup but this is more for people who have these pictures already and or um like might have acquired them through a dstash group or something like that so that's more what this video is for and this is more of a review of how the old quality used to be and i've heard the new quality is fantastic so i can't wait for them to actually release a picture that i want for me to try the new rendering they've released some very pretty pictures but none of them are ones that I actually want to got, to get and to work on. So this is the round rendering, which everybody has seen before. If you watched my previous video, which I will link somewhere. Um, so now that we have had a chance to look at the nice pretty round rendering, which is still not one of my favorites, I will show you the square rendering. But isn't that so much prettier? Um, this is actually with the new squares that Mary's Diamonds had released right before they sold the company. So this isn't even the, the, the squares that I had done with my very first review of Ahari. So, if you got the new squares, I will say that the new squares from before the, the ownership change have been fantastic to work on. I had no major issues no popping problems i didn't have to seal the picture because i haven't had issues with everything popping off like i was having with a hari um the colors are fantastic everything's relatively the same size i had moderate trash about normal trash that you get for a kit um but i want to say here that like some of my favorite thing about this is i love how the colors on this one came out as opposed to the colors on this one and like you can just see you can just see how for some reason some reason somehow i'm not sure what the whole reason was but the round rendering has is is washed out and i'm not sure why that 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 is that doesn't make much sense to me but the round drills are a lot paler than the square drills and you can even tell that they use different to skin tones for the skin. They placed ABs differently. Like for this one, we have some ABs in her hair and then this flower and through here and on her dress. But on this one, there's ABs in her face. Watch. You can probably see the shade difference, but there's like ABs here in her face. There's a weird pattern of ABs across her chest. There's ABs all up her arm. There's some really nice ABs in the flowers. Um, they did not put any green ABs in her eyes, which I thought was kind of weird considering in the original she has some very dark green eyes. They did put ABs in the green here. And that helped her eyes pop, and I loved it. Um, I really like how the rendering for the square came out better. Um, you can see when you compare them side by side. Get the pants in here. So you can see how this hand is a little bit more defined than this one. And, I mean, you can still tell that they're hands, but you can definitely see that they're more defined. This wrist looks oddly weird in shape right here where her hair or bracelet or whatever this is goes across, but it's more defined here. Um, this is one reason why I always say I much more prefer square renderings to round, um, especially if they're the same size. Because square renderings, when done correctly, can have much more detail and much more clarity of picture than round renderings. 
And that's more to do with the fact that everybody wants to keep the sizes the same. So if they did the same square rendering in rounds and just made the round canvas bigger, then the round would look identical to the square. It would just be a little bit bigger and it would still have the same type of rendering and still look fantastic. Um, and I wouldn't be opposed to that personally. And I think that opens up options for everybody who likes squares and rounds. So looking at their face, you can tell that they did some weird things with the shading. Um, this, this one over here, she has a nice skin tone that is more in tune with the original. And this over here is very, very pink and purple. And I don't know why. You can tell here that her red is, and the red and dark purple in her hair is better blended and more accurate. And this over here is more purple and not really that good, in my opinion. Um, as we move down her dress... And her outfit and stuff. This to me, in, in addition to like the hair and stuff, this is where you can really see the definitive differences in the rendering. Um, so like over here, we'll move this one over. So you can see all the nice lovely folds of the fabric and it's very flowy and, and the rendering came out fantastic. I love how the ro the the roses and stuff came out. They're they look wonderful. Uh, her her ribbon looks really good, and I just overall I love the rendering of the square so much better. Um, I didn't feel like there was a whole lot of needless confetti in the square rendering. Um, I just had to take a break from it because working on the same canvas back to back was causing me issues and making me stressed. So now that we've looked at the round rendering, we can see, or the square rendering, we can see a little bit where the round differs. Um, it's still defined, but in my opinion, it has a lot more of the needless confetti that doesn't make much sense for it. Um, I do like the fact that they put ABs into the ribbon here a little bit more. They did put it in here, but it's more up in this area, and this is spread out more into here. Um, I do feel like the shading could have been a lot better on both ribbons, but that's just me. Um, I did like this flower. I thought it was nicely done, and they did a really good job here as well. Uh, and then to get a comparison of the skirts, this is what both renderings look like. Not too bad, but you can definitely see the, the confetti and the... That type of thing here in the round. And there's there's a little bit of it here in the squares. But it's not as noticeable in my opinion as the round rendering. Overall, two very nicely rendered pictures. Um, I wouldn't be opposed to... I, wouldn't, I would say that if you are going to work on one of Mary's Diamond's older pictures... I hate to say it, I would really say just work on the rounds because the squares are always temperamental and having to fix a uh, um <clears throat> I wanna say if you bought your square kit between I wanna say it was between September and December of twenty twenty two, then you will have these nice squares and I th I think you'll have a fantastic experience with them. If your kit is from before that, you might have some issues. You might not have as much fun with it. I don't know how you'll like it. I know my Ahari kit from before that drove me nuts and I wound up having to throw it out. Um, part of that was my fault and part of that was their fault for having shitty drills. Um, but, yeah, this is my uh, comparison of the two renderings from Mary's Diamonds for... Uh, zero two now I, I think both renderings are beautiful i think they both offer a experience and a well done picture when they're done they're just not my the the, the round is not my favorite i really like the square i like how the colors of the square came out i don't understand why they're the the shade of the cup the drills is so drastically different um They did have slightly different 
color palettes. So like, um, yeah, they had they had very different color palettes, and I'll see about putting the comparison of the two different color palettes up here. Um, but they had different numbers for a lot of different things, which is probably what led to such a vast shade difference. But I don't know why they would render it with different colors for the drif different drill shapes. It doesn't make sense to me. But they did. So, I don't know. But this this is my comparison. I think both kits are good. If you have the old squares from Zero Two, just be aware that you might have to deal with some quality issues. But I still think the rendering comes out superior to the round. If you're worried about your round rendering, this is what it looks like. It still looks nice, but it's not something that I would have personally wanted. And it's not something that I'm personally super, super happy with. Like, the, it came, it's, it's fine. My, my personal gripe. It's my personal gripe. <laughs> I've I've seen so many people be so much happier with worse looking renderings. I know I'm being hyper picky, but I feel like I spent my money on it. I have a right to be hyper picky. <laughs> um, but yeah, overall, a fun project to do, and I hope everybody enjoyed doing it with me. If you're hanging out in my Discord group, you got to see project pictures and see when I was doing things. Uh, if you're in the Discord, you get the first glimpse of when I finish stuff, because I usually post the finish there, the, the like a few minutes after I finish it, and then um, later, either the next day or the following morning or a few hours later is usually when I do all my social media stuff, and then I, I film the post reviews and stuff whenever I get the chance. So, yeah. This is it for my comparison of Zero Two for the two renderings for Mary's Diamonds. I hope you enjoyed. I hope I will see you guys in the next video. I'm sorry that we did not have a video last week, but I did not have um, a chance to record anything and edit it and get it up. And um, yeah, I'm just I'm, I'm dealing with some stuff personally, dealing with motivation issues and job hunting and and my and my child being home during the summer and getting him off to his grandparents for a couple weeks because they, they wanted him to hang out for a couple weeks but, but yeah so I finally got this video done I will go ahead and get this up for you guys I hope I see you in the streams on Thursdays if you want to join the discord I hope you do we all have fun there we post video we post uh, updates we have conversations it's just a fun place and we're all of us are adults I don't allow anybody under 18 because I feel like adults need a place to be adults and have fun. <laughs> so I hope I'll see you guys later. Don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, comment if you have a comment. I like reading your guys' comments when you guys do give me comments. So I will see you guys next time. Have a lovely afternoon, evening, morning, whatever it is on whatever side of the planet you happen to be on. And I'll catch you next time. Bye, y'all.